How's it going everyone? We're here to check out the, what's coming to Rust soon. And we actually have a new DLC on the horizon here. And it is the Abyss Pack. I believe that is going to be the name. That seems to be the branding and everything. And the Abyss Update. So with this pack, there's actually a full-on hazmat diving suit skin, which is really cool. Now, as of right now, it has default hazmat stats. A lot of people are wondering if maybe it'll give extra oxygen or something like that. So far, that doesn't seem to be it. It is literally just a skin for the hazmat. However, that could very much change or not. We'll just have to see. As you can see, though, it is very gigantic. Uh, definitely gives off a kind of Bioshock kind of feel to it, which is cool. And then, uh, let's see if we... Can we read this even? Mark II U.S. Navy Diving Helmet. Osan... Osane and Sons, Inc.? Boston, Massachusetts. Ah, there you go. <laughs> Interesting. So, one way or another, there's that dive suit. And I think these also say something, but oh, the light really hits them. Oh, just the same company and all that. Okay. All right. So if we go ahead and take a look, you can see it has a metal hatchet and pickaxe skin. So here's the hatchet. And then you've got this big old anchor for the pickaxe, complete with barnacles. And then you have a pretty unique item here. It is the underwater torch. And this torch... Not only turns on with a click of a button, but it also works underwater, which we'll show you here shortly. And then there is the AK. Look at that. Anchor for the back, even. Even down the side, so you can see the kelp kind of flaps around and so forth. <laughs> which is pretty cool. Definitely a very neat skin and you can see that the sight is a hook at the front of it there you go that fishing hook very cool so if we go ahead and fly on over to the water we'll go ahead and show you torch is on and we are underwater so there you go an underwater torch so that seems to be the kind of like unique item coming with the DLC. So that's definitely quite cool. But if you notice, we're somewhere different. And that is because we're at the new monument that is coming in. The Ferry Terminal. Now the Ferry Terminal is directly related to Nexus, which is going to be the ability to go between multiple maps on a kind of combined multiple server system. That will be, uh, you know, a way to transfer back and forth. And that's going to be by sea or by air. And uh, one of the ways is going to be by sea, by the ferry. And the ferry is something that we've seen before. And it doesn't seem to be spawning yet because obviously Nexus isn't set up. So that, you know, makes sense. I assume it's probably going to spawn somewhere along over here. Or, uh, I don't know, maybe come along over here by this little place? I don't know. We'll just have to see how that works. Uh, this place also has its own little miniature lighthouse, which is quite cute. And then, as you'll see around, we've got various things. Like a busted MRS. And it doesn't appear to have any loot set up in it quite yet. But there's definitely plenty of places that look like they can have it. Uh, there's a actual accessible bottom layer, so if we go ahead and land and walk in here, you can see it's the whole, like, you know, ferry waiting terminal. It has a little phone. Then here's where you would buy the tickets, of course, the ticket office. And then there's actually a direct terminal to the underground, as they put it here. And uh, this actually takes you straight down some stairs to a door, and the door goes straight to an elevator down to the tunnel system. So that's a nice little addition to have there. Uh, you can't get up to the top of the building, at least uh, as of so far. We'll have to see how that is. But uh, as you can see, there's lots of little areas to kind of go around. There's this whole kind of back truck delivery section for Cobalt. Can't get into these areas though. Just kind of around them. Don't know if that will change, we'll just have to see. But there you go. That's uh, the actual monument itself. Now, I don't know if eventually we'll be able to get into this terminal here. 
doesn't look like it uh, because it's not filled out with an actual floor or anything like that. But who knows? We'll just have to see. But you can see there is a clear path that comes through here. So you could drive a car up and off and onto a ferry. So I don't know. Will this be the functional spot for it? We'll just have to see. But as you'll see, we also have something else here special. And it is the tug boat so this is the newest usable vehicle and these will spawn somewhere I, I don't know where exactly maybe here that would make the most sense this one had to be spawned in with admin commands as we are still just on the auxiliary staging branch it's not even on staging itself and uh, yeah so here it is it looks pretty much just like the tugboats that have been sitting around the monuments like that one over there and uh, big difference is it's real now, the first thing I noticed is it has a ton of space. Like, when would you need this many people, right? And I'm kind of thinking, like, you could park, like, a minicopter maybe back here, I, it looks like. But look at this. What's the point of this, right? Now, as of right now, you can't build in here, but I saw something about me. Like, they were playing around with the idea of sleeping bags on this. So I'm wondering if maybe this is a buildable space. I don't know, we'll have to see, or maybe they're gonna fill it out with something. One way or another, there's a ton of space on this thing. And I mean, you even have multiple decks to stand up on and shoot from, etc. But if we go over to the cockpit here, you can see you've got your fuel. And if you look straight down, you should be able to fuel storage. Boom. There that is. I already had some fuel in here. Has a nice little monitor. Look at that. Tells you exactly how much fuel you have. And your speed. And I could have spawned this facing the other direction. That would be really nice. Also to spawn it, it's literally just spawn space tugboat in the F1 console. Here we are. All right, let's cruise on by. So let's see, 18 knots, 19, 20, 21. All right, so it seems to go about 20 knots is about its speed. I would definitely say, you know, not super crazy fast. But definitely very cool. And uh, it even has little lights on the side that light up. Red and green there. And I believe we have... Oh. Nope, no horn. Okay. I thought middle mouse might be a horn, but it uh, doesn't seem to be. But yeah, there we go. Tugboat and a new monument setting out for Nexus. And then we have a new DLC kit. So hey, how do you guys feel about all this? And I mean, would you want to build on a boat? I mean, I think I definitely would love to. But uh, yeah, that pretty much does it, guys. Uh, tugboat and new monument, new DLC. And uh, as of right now, the tugboat doesn't have any kind of health. Um, I don't know how that's going to go. Also, like these holes for the doors actually look like we could place a door on them so I don't know how this is gonna work but there's definitely a place for three doors and uh, big empty spot so we'll just have to see how that goes uh, one way or another I'm pretty excited to see what they do with this because I think there's more to the tugboat than there appears to be we'll just have to see in the coming weeks I'll be sure to update you all on that thanks for watching and we will see you guys next time